Hello, I'm Adam and today I will show you how to configure your OpenWRT uh, router uh, to uh, accept uh, two independent uh, network sources and additionally I will show you how I'm configuring the adblock uh, because uh, to be honest uh, to comparing it uh, to the p-hole uh, well uh, the build in adblock is uh, way easier and uh, not complicated as the ras configuring Raspberry Pi and uh, I feel that I've got uh, more control or I just got, got used it and I prefer it. Okay, at the beginning I've got a very clean installation of the OpenWRT on my router uh, ASRock G10 and uh, I must say that the router is great for this purpose because it has uh, 500 megabytes of RAM and multi-core etc etc whatever I just recommend it at the beginning we have to go to the uh, network tab and the interfaces section and as we can see there is a LAN, there is a 1 and 1.6 one and uh, we have to go to the one uh, edit and uh, we have uh, switched to advanced settings then uh, we are looking for the gateway metric it's there and uh, we write there for example 10 and additionally we can uh, set a custom DNS servers generally for, for safety because I don't trust the provider that I've got so I wrote there uh, Google DNS servers and uh, that's it i have to click save yeah uh, okay and uh, i can click save and apply uh, generally nothing much so should change about uh, this after this and uh, now we are going uh, to go to the network to the switch section and uh, uh, in a very brief uh, version every router is a switch uh, in my case I've got uh, two switches, not uh, two cores, what I read. And uh, as we can see what's going on there. I've got the one uh, interface and uh, as we can see it's off in one uh, VLAN and it's untagged in the second VLAN. Uh, I've got two uh, in switches let's name it switches i'm not sure uh, and uh, we have to make a balance between them uh, so as we can see uh, the cpu uh, one is uh, dedicated for the lan uh, ports as we can see there is uh, tagged and the rest is untagged uh, but the one is off and the second is off so uh, and and uh, we can see the first uh, the first uh, interface is uh, tagged in one uh, is tagged and everything is off but uh, the last place is untagged so uh, i'm going to add uh, a third vlan and uh, I want to link this uh, VLAN to uh, the first one because as we maybe understood first one is for the VLAN for the uh, one and the second one is for the uh, LAN so uh, at this moment I'm selecting their uh, tag it should be everywhere off but now I have to uh, choose which LAN port I have to use for the uh, one application for the second uh, one. In my router one port is uh, next to the LAN 1 so I want to have LAN 1 so uh, I'm going to turn off it from the uh, let's say LAN section and now I'm going to uh, make it untagged in the VLAN 3. I hope you understood. <laughs> okay, now we have to click save and apply. Okay, and uh, now we are going to uh, interfaces and we have to add a new interface. 
and it will act as 1B. And the protocol will be DHCP, of course, and device. We have to check uh, the new made uh, VLAN, and we can see there is uh, uh, this one, ETH0.3. As we can see, we've got in same group in the ones, yeah. So that's that's what we wanted. And uh, generally, I don't want to send the host name. And uh, in advanced settings, we have to change same things as the one uh, interface. So we are going to use the Google DNS server. And uh, we are going to set the uh, gateway metric to 20. Uh, it's something like weight, priority, whatever. Uh, okay, and uh, now we have to click save. And uh, oh, there is one another thing. There are firewall settings, and we can set the firewall. Uh, to match the black tables uh, to the specific for the one port. So let's say it's for the safety. And we have to click save and now everything is pretty nice in red. Uh, regarding the 1.6, uh, at this network we won't use it, so I can just uh, turn it off and I don't need it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we have to save and apply. Okay, and uh, now we've got uh, set up the interfaces and the switch. Now we have to install the plugin to the OpenWRT, which allows us to manage the multi one uh, connection. Yeah, so uh, we are going to go to the system and software. Uh, now we have to click uh, update lists and after that uh, all the packages will load as we can see 27 megabytes of memory uh, for the applications that's amazing i would say and uh, now we are going to look for m13 and uh, there are even with the translation, Polish, but anyway. Okay, and uh, now we are going to install it. Okay, that's it. Well, we have to log in again. And now we want to install the uh, Lucy uh, support for the M13 uh, package. So, uh, by using this uh, package, we will have a very nice uh, looking menu. And uh, now, uh, after installing uh, the Lucy add-on, we've got the uh, multi one manager in the network tab. And uh, now, uh, to the interfaces. You can add as many ones as you want. Uh, even I was trying with three uh, ones, one from Wi-Fi, <laughs> and uh, it generally there is a rule: if you have uh, that bandwidth uh, available, you will get it. Yeah. In my case, uh, unfortunately, uh, two one hundred megabits uh, bandwidth uh, sources, and the Wi-Fi. It resulted in uh, 250 megabits uh, download. Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, anyway, it's better than one 100. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, backing to the configuration, if you haven't got uh, there one uh, B, you have to write there one B and click add and set the metric. The, there is one very important thing at this uh, tab. We have to go to 1B and click Edit. And there is magic button, magic checkbox enabled. We have to check it. 
and we have to save it and we have to save and apply and next we are going to member if we want to combine only two ones uh, and we've got the one B uh, already we don't have to change anything because uh, there is at least uh, one with the white tree and uh, the one B also got white tree so we don't have to do anything there and uh, next we are going to uh, policy yeah and now we can see uh, the policy named balance uh, has the setting what we wanted uh, even more but it contains what we wanted so we wanted uh, one one with uh, white tree and one b with white tree to be balanced to be combined so uh, if you don't see that you have to write and add things like this this option has more than we need so uh, I'm going to uh, remove the IPv6 uh, version because I'm not going to use it and let's click uh, save and apply and uh, there is one thing what we have to do and uh, I'm in the network interfaces and the devices tab uh, we have to uh, change the MAC address as we can see uh, our two uh, ones has same MAC address so we want to act as a, a different device connecting so in my case uh, this one will have uh, just I, I added one on the end and uh, that's optional but uh, if I change the MAC address uh, I will be recognized as a new a PC in the network so for sure it will work yeah that's the rule and uh, I click save and apply uh, so uh, now we have to uh, reboot the router and the plug uh, after it came up and now if you go to the multi one manager we can see uh, one is online 1b is online so that means everything is working and uh, if we go to the interfaces we can see we've got different mac addresses and we've got different ip addresses so at this moment everything should work so it's time for the speed test okay so uh, we've got the network uh, aggregation completed uh, there is one thing what I am doing on the OpenWRT and is uh, most important for me to be honest is uh, in services we have the ad block and uh, I'm using this ad block instead of pihole because it's much simpler and I have no idea maybe the block list is uh, in better shape I have no idea but generally I had no problems with uh, this as we uh, in the ad block uh, section we have to go to the block list sources and now we have a uh, list uh, which uh, lists uh, we are going to add and of course I'm going to add some the general ones and I'm going to add the regional polish yeah, and that's it uh, so I select I added the one more and uh, now uh, click save and apply and now uh, let's go to general settings click enabled and we have to click uh, save and apply and uh, now it's running but uh, it needs to uh, load the lists what uh, what we chose yeah and uh, as you can see it uh, automatically reloaded uh, what we've got other way at guard disconnect regional poland and yo yo <laughs> <laughs> and we've got over 100 blocked domains and uh, yeah it's working i don't have to show you anyway uh yeah so that's it regarding open wrt uh i recommend oh there is another thing 
in the system you can uh, go to scheduled tasks and there is a cron tab you can write there to reboot router every day every week so i'm going to uh, reboot my uh, router at uh, half past three in the morning and i have to click save and that's it it will reboot and i will check it if it reboots uh, to make sure in the status tab because there we can see uptime is 20 minutes at this moment yeah okay so that's how it looks and that's it that's nice alternative to pihole uh, to be honest and yeah you don't have uh, to use an external device uh, configure it install system sd cards or whatever you just can use your own router and it's working really great and yeah so thanks for watching please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button bye